Friends, as a longtime resident and business operator on Federal Hill in Providence here in the United States, I have witnessed many, many changes through the years, and one unsettling new trend I've noticed is the use of uh, smear tactics and harmful uh, stereotypes to attract business, particularly by those who seem to misunderstand or misrepresent the rich Italian heritage of our neighborhood. It feels like a calculated strategy to exploit all cliches about our community rather than embracing the true history and the cultural depth that Federal Hill has to offer. As someone deeply committed to preserving our legacy, this approach not only misrepresents our past, but also disrespects the generations of immigrants who built this vibrant area. Federal Hill is located in Providence, Rhode Island, epitomizes a neighborhood of immense cultural significance, profound historical relevance, and outstanding community cohesion. It's often affectionately termed the Providence's Little Italy, and it poignantly represents the Italian uh, immigrant experience in North America, especially here in New England. And uh, over the years, families have established their livelihoods within this locale, contributing to the city's economic landscape and perpetuating their customs through culinary delicacies, melodic expressions, and traditional festivities. However, the recent commercialization of Federal Hill's history as a so-called underworld essentially undermines its true legacy and identity. A local tour company has introduced a tour named Crime and Cuisine, offering visitors the opportunity to explore the mafia underworld and encounter corrupted politicians. Well, this marketing narrative reduces Federal Hill's vibrant and multifaceted history to tired and damaging stereotypes. While portraying the neighborhood as a den of crime may attract visitors, it diminishes the real essence of Federal Hill contribution to the state of Rhode Island and much beyond. It is important to note that Feather Hill's story is not one of criminality and corruption, but of immigration, resilience, and cultural flourishing. And for over a century, since 1886, the people of this ward, primarily Italian immigrants and their descendants, have worked tirelessly to build a community that values hard work integrity and family. Their resilience is in the face of challenges is truly inspiring. They have maintained their culinary traditions, blending them with the local food culture to create something unique to the state of Rhode Island. The neighborhood has given rise to several small businesses, supported artists, and became a symbol of the American immigration dream. These businesses have enriched the cultural landscape and significantly contributed to the local economy and it still does today. So portraying the legacy of Federal Hill as a mafia spectacle is not just inaccurate, it is harmful. It perpetuates negative stereotypes that many Italian Americans have spent decades fighting against and reinforces the false notion that crime is inherent to Italian culture, which is both insensitive and highly offensive. This narrative designed for entertainment and profit essentially strips away the dignity and the pride that Federal Hills residents feel about their heritage. There is much more to Feather Hill than 
this narrow portrayal. Visitors deserve to experience the actual Federal Hill, a neighborhood built by immigrants, enriched by their hard work and sustained by their love for their heritage, their family, and their new love and home for America. This authentic story of triumph rather than tragedy deserves always to be told. And by depicting the neighborhood as an underworld colony, the Crime and Cuisine Tour does a disservice to the many men and women who have contributed to the cultural fabric of the state of Rhode Island. It disregards the significant and the positive impact that Federal Hill has, has had on the state's history and its uh, economy and a long-standing community. And most significantly, it perpetuates a narrative that has been used to dehumanize and marginalize Italian-Americans for several generations. I know we're used to this, but Federal Hill does not require a sensationalized rebranding, but rather a celebration of its true history. Envision a tour highlighting the authentic culinary traditions brought over by Italian immigrants, the stories of resilience and perseverance, and the deep ties that Feather Hill, the residents, after their cultural roots. Imagine a narrative that uplifts, educate, and honors the contribution of Italian Americans, those who came to Rhode Island and all across this wonderful land. This is not just a dream, but it's a clear vision that we can work towards, a narrative that we can shape and change for the better. It is crucial to resist the perpetuation of harmful stereotypes and always insist on the truthful portrayal of Federal Hill. We owe it to the legacy of those who came before us, the current residents and the generation yet to come. Federal Hill is not an underworld colony. It is a thriving community built on the values of family, culture, and hard work. And let's tell that story the real story with determination and commitment. And by reclaiming Federal Hill narrative, we preserve its integrity and certainly honor the people who made it to be this proud and vibrant neighborhood as it is today. Thank you for watching. This is Chef Walter Potenza. Follow us on chefwalter.com and on all of our social networks. I hope this message reaches you. It is meant not just for Italian Americans, it is meant for all ethnic groups, smearing tactics to attract business, to lure new profits, for the greed and the personal gain doesn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm.